gosh, this pan sauce smells so incredible. It's still reducing, so it's not quite done yet, but I just couldn't wait to show you my drunken braised brisket. Man, dinner is gonna be good tonight. <laughs> Once your brisket is coated in your seasoned flour, we're just gonna take it, kind of shake it off just a little bit, and put it into your hot pan. All right, so I'm gonna flip this over and sear the other side. Make sure that the oil is coating the pan all well. Oh my gosh, look at how good that looks. Amazing. All right, now, although the brisket is awesome, what really takes this recipe over the top is the horseradish sauce. And it's really simple to put together. What's, I think the key ingredient is right here. It's the gold hot. And it doesn't end up being terribly spicy. So once it's mixed in with the other ingredients, it really has a great punch and adds so much flavor to the brisket. I'm telling you, everybody's coming back for a second. But once this has seared on both sides, just take it out of the pan and let it rest on a large plate or a cookie sheet. And all of this goodness that's in here, don't wash it out. All you're gonna do is put the onions right in and make sure your heat is down to about a medium low. And then let these babies soak up all of those little brown bits and all the flavor from your brisket. Once your onions have started to cook and they're almost translucent, then add in your garlic. You don't want to add it in first thing because the last thing you want is for it to get browned or burnt on the bottom because then it'll add a bitter taste that you just can't get rid of. All right, so you've got your wine in there, you've got your tomato paste, your bay leaves, and your thyme. Just give it a good mix so that all of those flavors combine and try to scrape up a little bit on the bottom if you can. And you're gonna let this go for another maybe five to 10 minutes just to get all of that coating on the bottom pulled up. This is the part where you have to be super careful though because you've got this boiling hot liquid and you need to take your brisket and lay it back in the pan so that it can take a nice long bath and all of that deliciousness. Now, you wanna take your chicken broth and you wanna pour this in. So this is going to get that liquid really high in this pan. You're gonna cover it and then you pop it in the oven. I like to make my brisket a day in advance because it does take a while to cook it. Plus, when you let it sit overnight, all of those pan juices start to marry in and the flavor just gets more intense. And then the other reason is because the fat will solidify on the top here and it makes it really easy just to skim it off. Then you can easily reduce those pan juices. That combined with that horseradish sauce, it's magic, I'm telling you.